Johnson. Welcome to TNW. Ladies and gentlemen, fully cut as he gets a four one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Farouk, representing the APA from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. Well, John Bradshaw Layfield on his way to the ring in this one on one match with the returning Wade Barrett. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tuesday Night War, TNW, for short. Hello, everyone. I'm your commentator, MJ. We're coming to you live all the way in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I got a feeling that this is going to be a wild ride leading into this Friday night showdown in Madison Square Garden. What about it? And here comes the returning Wade Barrett. Man, oh man, what a night it's going to be. And listen to this crowd. And oh, what an entrance. Good Lord. And his opponent from Pacific England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett from Pacific England. Weighing in at 246 pounds, this man has been through a lot in 2012, and no doubt about it. And something tells me, though, right down the road here on TNW, this is going to be an interesting night that I don't think anybody will ever forget. You know that about it. This is going to be a big-time night as David Christopher will be in one-on-one -on -one action coming up later on in our third match against none other than Damian Shadows. Yeah, well, Damian Shadows already defeated the TNW International World Heavyweight Champion in an untitled match. Think about what could happen here if he could defeat David Christopher, the TNW World at War Champion, in an untitled match. Yeah, well, who knows what could happen? If he could defeat David Christopher, then who knows what could happen? Coming up later on our third match, and no doubt about it here, then coming up later on, our main event, we will have a number one contendership match, which will determine the number one contender for Jay Reigns' TNW World Heavyweight Championship. We're being told. And oh my God, a diving knee drop by Wade Barrett on JBL. Yet though, folks, we're being told that, the, that it's the legendary Kurt Angle here in the building. In the number one contendership match, we're being told it's against TNW legend and Hall of Famer, Shadow Fiend. Yeah, well, Shadow Fiend will give it his all to be the number one contender to try to win back the one title that he lost years ago, the TNW World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, not that bad. Don't forget the history between Angle and, of course, Shadow Fiend when Kurt Angle won the WCW title. To the undertake from the Undertaker, and more importantly, even went on in that triple threat elimination match. Not that bad in that unification. It was actually a unification match between Shadow Fiend and Kurt Angle. And not that bad. Angle gave it his all in there until Shadow Fiend was the one that unified the TNW World Heavyweight Title and the WCW Title on that night. But how about it? it was late 2020 during that time and a big time moment nobody will ever forget. Yeah, this is a night that nobody will ever forget as it's a rematch of the century. Kurt Angle versus the returning Shadow Fiend after losing a tribute show match that we paid tribute to late last week to Bray Wyatt. And that was a big time moment for Shadow Fiend going up, going up against the Dark Prince, Bell Dizora. Yeah, well, Bell Dizora has his sights set on the World Heavyweight Championship. And he's bound to cash in sooner or later. Yet the Dark Prince has been remaining in the shadows as of late. And Lordy knows what Bell Dizora is up to. And Lordy knows when he'll be cashing in the world title. And Wade Barrett with that pump handle slam. He's got JBL up. Looking for it. Here it comes. Wasteland. Wasteland on JBL. Two. No. And oh man, JBL kicked out at two and a half out of the wasteland, and Wade Barrett thought he had it. Yeah, well, Wade Barrett must be planning for something else. 
What's this man thinking? I don't know. And a diving knee drop connecting again on JBL, the two, the Hall of Famer who's already been through so much in his career. Now about it here. Well, there's an arm wrench. Oh, and JBL with the right hand getting out of that one. Clothesline off the corner by JBL, knocking Wade Barrett right off his feet. Elbow drop by Wade Barrett, and actually by JBL. There's another one. Those three patented elbows by the hardcore son of a gun and the toughest one of them all, JBL. Not that bad of here. And JBL wants to redeem himself after that loss. And not that bad of here to the TNW and ECW World United States Tag Team Championships. He went to Colt 412's office and demanded that him and Farouk would get another shot at the titles. But however, if JBL can defeat the returning Wade Barrett here tonight, then it looks like he's got himself a, a tag team rematch for the tag titles. Yeah, well, JBL with another clothesline off the corner. And the toughest son of a gun may be planning for something here to put out Wade Barrett right, right here and now. Yeah, but if the APA plays their cards right, and this could be an opportunity for JBL. Well, a major one in that. Wade Barrett rolling out to the floor here. And JBL caught Wade Barrett off guard. And Wade Barrett didn't see it coming. Snake eyes right off the apron. And these fans here, here in Ohio, and already loving this, I'll tell you. And yet, referee got a six count here, and JBL could defeat Wade Barrett by a count out. Or then again, maybe not. Referee at seven. And Wade Barrett with JBL launching him right off the right off the area, right where the ramp is. And JBL running in. Can he make it in time? And he does. Breaks the referee's 10 count. Wade Barrett was wasting little time there. And a tilt to a backbreaker by Wade Barrett. Aiming right for the back of JBL. Yeah, a smart move there by Wade Barrett playing mortal mental mortal mental mind games. Yeah, I think that message has fired up JBL. And wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Griffey there to make the count. Is that it? No. JBL kicked out at one. Staying alive here. But Wade Barrett gets too confident. And whoa! Clothesline from hell. But Wade Barrett is still standing. Yeah, well, JBL needs to pull off the upset and take out Wade Barrett. Yeah, but what's going on here? I don't know. Wade Barrett is staggering. While JBL, uh-oh. Wade Barrett just came too. We have no idea what JBL's plan was. He connected with a clothesline from hell. But however, Wade Barrett was staggering. JBL was planning for something, but we have no idea what that was all about. I don't know. Oh man, Wade Barrett going up top again with that diving knee drop. There's no way JBL can withstand this. Wait a minute. He realizes JBL was getting back up, but JBL caught him. Oh, it maybe lights out. Whoa! JBL was thinking the power bomb, but Wade Barrett reversed it. Oh man, what a maneuver by Wade Barrett. Man, what's Wade Barrett thinking now? I don't know. He's rolled up the sleeve. Looking for it. And oh, wait a minute. JBL reversed it. Wade Barrett lifted up that elbow pad, was looking for that big clothesline, and it looks like JBL ducked and saw it coming. Oh man, here it comes, pup handle slam. The pup handle slam by Wade Barrett. That elbow pad is still lifted up, and there's that forearm shot to the face. Wade Barrett with the cover, is that it? Two, and Wade Barrett picks up the win. Yeah, well, JBL better luck next time, along with Farouk. Here's your winner, Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett victorious on his TNW in-ring comeback. What an amazing match this was. And folks, we're not even through here yet because coming up next, we're being told that Revy is in the building and she is ready for a fight. But how about it? The TNW Divas World Champion in one-on-one -on -one action. 
We're being told it's against the returning Eve Torres. Oh, that matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. And we are back live here in Ohio for this amazing matchup here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And here comes Revy, already a multiple-time TNW Divas World Champion. And here comes the champ. Lee Jim with a falling contest, good to pour one fall, making her way to the ring. From Chinatown, New York, now residing in Chung Chungji, China. She is the TNW Divas World Champion, Revy! Revy two hands, the three-time TNW Divas World Champion, made history for herself. No doubt about it, her and Claire Redfield no longer tied the record as the TNW Divas World Champion. But right now, though, Revy is a three-time champion and still gunning for Spider-Man's GWE United States title. And yet, no doubt about it in my mind here, this is TNW at its best here in Ohio as we wait for the arrival of the return of this gorgeous lady, Eve Torres. And from Denver, Colorado, Eve Torres. Chaos Disorder, Eve Torres is back. Well, Eve making her TNW in-ring return. Last time we saw her was since 2012. And really represented TNW for what it is today. I know that about it, making the Divas division for what it is today. Alongside some of the other greats that have ever represented TNW during that time. I know that about it. Throughout that time period, there was no Divas title yet, not until, not until the late 2013, which it was a big time moment for our Divas division for what it is today. No doubt about it, here we go. And the only most coveted prize in TNW history was the TNW Divas United States Championship. No doubt about it, and the only history it ever had in its first ever champion was none other than, than the Black Cat. No doubt about it, Black Cat made history as one of the greatest champions in TNW history. And Eve Torres goes to work on the TNW Divas World Champion. Yeah, well, the champion had the upset earlier. Man, Revy talked so much trash throughout the past few nights here on TNW. And there is no doubt about it. There has been so much animosity for the champion. And no doubt about it, she wants to prove why to this TNW legend that this is her time, not anybody else's. Yeah, though, folks, it's already gotten big right before our huge third matchup between David Christopher and, of course, Damian Shadows, who will have IMP with him at ringside in the form of Millie and Luna. Yeah, well, Millie and Luna have already been through so much, have not given a chance to wrestle yet here on TNW, but will get that chance, we're being told, is sooner or later, next month in October. All right, before our huge, huge pay-per-view event taking place in October, known as TNW Friday of October. One of the greatest events in TNW history, where the loser has to wear, that he or she has to wear their costume until the annual TNW Thanksgiving Massacre event. No doubt about it. And Eve Torres with a clothesline. And man, just look at Eve go. While Revy is stopping a mud hole in Eve and walking it dry. Cover, is that it? No. Man. Looks like these two are pulling off all the stops here tonight. Uh-oh. Eve Torres, DDT, paying homage to Jake the Snake Roberts right there. No doubt about it. Shadow Fiend looking on, along with Kurt Angle in their locker rooms, right before the huge main event. But how about it? And Eve Torres with another fa fashionable DDT, taking out Revy right there, back elbow to the face, and there's a stop on the hand, and it looks like Revy is wasting no time on this TNW legend. But how about it here? What's Revy thinking? I don't know. 
And Revy Luthez Press with those piston-like right hands hitting Eve Torres right in the face. And she's calling for the knockout shot. If she hits this, this one's over. And whoa, Eve with a counter. And Revy with a counter of her own with that kick to the gut. And look at the power of Revy. Look at the strength. And Revy slams her down like a rag doll. Yet though, folks, things have really intensified here on TNW. And this has already become an amazing night here on TNW. And there's a stomp right on the leg. And Eve looks like is in a world of trouble here. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Uh-oh. What's Revy thinking? And Revy with that running elbow again. It's my goodness here, folks. Cover of the match. Is that it? Two. And Revy picks up the win on the comeback return of Eve Torres. Well, Revy won. And what an amazing match this was. Here's your winner, Revy. Revy won that one. And Candice LeRae must be looking on backstage of that briefcase. Then she can cash in for any title she wants up to one a year. Not that bad, but what a win for Revy after taking out the returning Eve Torres. And folks, stick around. We're not through yet. Coming up next, Damian Shadows versus David Christopher and one-on-one -on -one action. Oh boy, that match will be huge and it's live and it's next. And we are back live here in Ohio and here comes Damian Shadows. Made an impactful debut during the tribute show to Bray Wyatt late last week here on TNW and made a big time moment for himself already here on TNW. Yeah, no doubt about it. Legion of Foley Contest is good for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 222 pounds, Damian Shadows. Damian Shadows being a coming to the ring by IMP's own Million Luna after arriving here on TNW. Yet though, folks, things have really intensified enough as John Cena was out here earlier tonight and made his statement well known to Hogan of what is to come this Friday night taking place at TNW, King of the Celebrities. Now that about it, we usually start things off with our annual eight-man over-the-top row battle royal. But this year, we're going to kick it off with Hogan versus Cena to end the rivalry once and for all. Then after that matchup, it will be an eight-man battle royal featuring ACW superstars that want to get out of ACW and get themselves either a TNW contract or an HWF contract. And no doubt about it here, folks. Things have really intensified enough here. And what a way to change the match card for TNW King of the Celebrities taking place this Friday night in New York City of Madison Square Garden. Yeah, well, ACW Divide and Conquer did amazing last Sunday night. So far, though, so many champions were successfully retained, but one new champion was crowned in the form of none bigger than none other. Than one of the greatest in the history of wrestling today, Grado. No doubt about it, we want to congratulate Grado by winning the ACW World Heavyweight title. And we sure hope to see him in a TNW ring or an HWF ring someday. And something tells me right now, this is going to be a war zone. Between Damian Shadows and David Christopher. Yeah, well, David Christopher's been on an emotional roller coaster after the passing of the late great Bray Wyatt. And there's no doubt about it. He plans to pay homage to him tonight once again. No doubt about it. Well, he knows what David Christopher's going to do, but I think we'll find out. And, uh oh, here comes the World at War champion in a non-title match. And there's no doubt about it here. This is an opportunity for this young man right here tonight. For Damian Shadows to square off against a TNW superstar and his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 200. And 30 pounds. He is the TNW World at War champion, David Christopher. 
David Christopher here to pay homage tonight to the late great Bray Wyatt once again tonight. Yep, folks, we were told that this Friday night David Christopher plans to put the World at War Championship on the line in an open challenge to pay homage to Bray Wyatt. And there is no doubt about it, anybody in ACW would love to get a shot at that title. And no doubt about it, anybody would love to get a shot at the World at War Championship and more importantly, get themselves an AC, and get themselves out of an ACW free card, no doubt about it. Yeah, but David Christopher is going to do whatever it takes to pay tribute to a man who inspired him to do so much in professional wrestling. And there's no doubt about it. Damien Shadows and David Christopher have a long history together. Here we go. Here we go. And David Christopher bringing, has been brought right to the ropes there by Damien Shadows. And David Christopher landing right in front of Millie and Luna. Damien Shadows had something on his mind. And oh my God. Suicide dive there. Millie and Luna got the heck out of the way there. I would stay out of the way there, ladies. You might get yourself hurt. You know that about it. And whoa, face buster. We're for the four cannon. Oh my God. What a flat over DDT by David Christopher to Damien Shadows. Knocks him right off his feet. Ref had a six, a six count, and Millie and Luna getting the heck out of harm's way there. Smart move there. They collided. Man, like I was saying earlier, both Damian Shadows and David Christopher go all the way back in Las Vegas in the scene of Las Vegas wrestling. They've trained together from FSW, BBW, and more importantly, versus Pro Studios, and these guys have been through so much together ever since then. No doubt about it. They've had their first official matches at times. And, oh, David saw that one coming. Taking him down with a schoolboy. Escaping that one. Form right to the face there by Damian Shadows. David Christopher may be in trouble. This matchup is still going to go on until we have a winner here. And there is no doubt about it here in my mind. Springboard dropkick right to the back of David Christopher. And this young man is in trouble. David Christopher, a former TNW U.S. champion, after losing the title to Sam Houston. No doubt about it, a great legend in his own rights in professional wrestling. And there's no doubt about it in my mind here. Damian Shadows has got David Christopher up into a snake, guys. Right off the corner again, connected. Now, these guys know each other too well. These guys are really going at it here, and they're pulling out all the stops here. And, uh oh, Damien Shadows trying to choke the light right out of David Christopher off the corner. Oh my God, a meteora right off that corner. Come on, ref, get him off him. You know, like I said earlier, it looks like David Christopher is getting getting Bray Wyatt on his mind here. Oh, he's got him up. He's got him up. Looking for it. The afterlife. It looks like Damien Shadows just sent David Christopher to the afterlife. One, two, no. And Damien Shadows can't believe it. And, uh oh, David Christopher's had enough. And oh, David Christopher all fired up now. What's he thinking? I don't know. A knee lift. And those knee lifts right to the gut of Damien Shadows, who looks to be in trouble. And now he's got him in a headlock. Look at that maneuver by David Christopher. That headlock is solid. Well, down he goes. And they're right amongst each other out in the arena floor here on the outside. Oh, look in the ring. Whoa! David Christopher launched himself like a human missile. Taking Damien Shadows out. Like a light, but whoa! Launching him down. Oh man, what was that sign for? I don't know. And he's telling him, you want to send me to the afterlife? Come and try it. I'm not going to give up here. And he just screamed out to him, be careful what you wish for, David. You just might get it. Yeah, well, David Christopher is not going to give up here. And aiming right for that knee, and Millie and Luna loved it. 
and a forearm shot to the face. And David Christopher is in trouble as Damian Shadows is hammering away here in this fight. Yeah, trying to fight back here. Then he's got his body. I mean, these two are pulling off an amazing matchup thus far. German suplex. Now, what's Damian Shadows thinking? Uh-oh. Kneeling to the gut. Caught him. And the big kick. Taking Damian Shadows down. Now, Damian trying to get back up. Trying to get up. And it looks like he got caught into a DDT. Yeah, but what's, what's David Christopher thinking? I don't know. He's got something on his mind. Trying to keep Damien Shadows down and out like a light. But for what? I don't know. Oh, kick to the gut. And look out here. DDT by Damien Shadows. And David Christopher trying to use the ropes as leverage. Trying to get up of what's on the line here. No doubt about it. And whoa. Counter that one. He caught him into a submission hold and the referee called for the rope break. Uh-oh. And there's a headbutt. And David Christopher with a cover. Is that it? No. Yeah, but what's David Christopher thinking? I don't know. He's got something on his mind. And there's an orange clothesline. Trying to keep Damian Shadows down for something, but Lorley knows what it is. Swing and neck breaker. Again. Damian Shadows down and out like a light, but what is David Christopher thinking? I don't know here, but he's got him on his shoulders. Trying to steal Damian Shadows' finishing maneuver, but it looked like that did not happen. Wait a minute, he's got him up. He's got him up. Can he connect again? The afterlife. The afterlife again, again connected. Cover, is that it? One, two. And Damian Shadows picks up the win. What a win for Damian Shadows between these two young guys. Here's your winner, Damian Shadows. Well, Damian Shadows won that one by two afterlifes, and David Christopher gave it his all in there, and that's all that should matter. No doubt bad. These guys pulled off an amazing matchup, but folks, stick around. We're not through yet, because coming up next, we're being told it's a number one contendership match for Rebby's TNW Divas World Championship. We're being told it's an, it's between me and Yim and a and a mystery participant. What? But well, who could it possibly be? Oh, we're gonna find out. Come to you live and next. <laughs>